Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The Athenians are, well, let's be honest here, they don't have a leader, they don't have a paychess, they don't have most of their mercenaries. They have got a town, a few soldiers, and they are up against professional Spartans, as though there's any other kind. Alright, let's talk to Stenta. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chill, man, chill. Are you ready? Crush the Athenians. Yes. Right, so this is a conquest battle. Both Athens and Sparta reward epic gear for conquest battles. Attacking is harder but provides more rewards. Defending is easier but gets you less. To battle! I'm ready for war. Yeah, well he looks happy about it, doesn't he? He'd probably be less happy if he knew what the aftermath was going to be, but... Okay, that screaming you can hear is the sound of a dozen historians pointing out this was not how Greek infantry warfare was conducted. Okay, 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 you want to play? Let's play. Harry, shank, 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 and you know what? In the head. Really? Which gods would those be? The ones of death, destruction, and being shanked repeatedly in the back? Best kind, really. Also, I have a new ability. Shield Breaker. Kinda evens the odds against these annoying little sods with shields. And as a handy bonus, of course, the spear does mean that you get to hit people from outside their range. Now, if you have a spear, this does make it a bit awkward. But, um, well, these guys don't have shields, so they generally guess ju just get shanked outside. Yeah, there we go. Like that. Stabby, stabby, stabby. No, no, no. Not him. Him. Right. Harry, while you stagger, just barrel on in and shank. Ow! That was nasty. Okay, lost my rhythm for a second. There we go. Got it back. Punch. Spartan kick. Oh, nearly. Okay, come on then. Ah, damn it. Not quite on my... There we go. Got the rhythm back. Okay. Right, pop a heel. And no, no more shield for you. And ooh, that looked like it hurt. Right, let's drop a few captains. Hey, Lycophon, got your attention yet? Good. Right, let's just remove your buddy, and then you get over here. Like that. Fine. Hide behind your shield, would you? Guess what? That doesn't work. And now he's dead. Ooh, right the way through. Nasty. Note to self, they do not mess about around here. Okay, let's pull out to the centre of this duel. Thank you for overextending. Topic on which I know much. Okay. And let's just... Yeah, no you don't. Not so tough without your little wooden dinner bowl, are you? Right. Actually, I think that's... Are those bronze, or are they... Ow. It's quite hard to transition from an attack to a parry starts at speed. You've got multiple opponents to deal with. Which I suppose is kind of the point. Chivalry is overrated. Come here. Thank you. And... Really, you want to take me alone, do you? Next! Shank, shank, shank. And... Misjudge that one. Really? Okay, fine. We'll just do the old fashioned way. And by that I don't mean get slashed repeatedly in the head. Okay, and... Yes. Stab, stab. Resync. 
Yeah, I'm on then. You know what? I'll beat you to death with your own shield. Of course, that doesn't stop your mate trying to have a go, but... Never mind. Ooh. I think that might have hurt. Right, have they run out of Athenians yet? Not yet. Not yet. Right. Ah, never mind. They have, in fact, run out of Athenians. Hey, Centre. How many did you get? I lost count. Ooh. Epic daggers. Shiny. 24 soldiers, one captain. Hmm. I'm sure Centre will claim at least 30. Good news. We've got Megais. You're not gonna like what comes next, Stentor. Just warning you. The wolf requests the presence of the mercenary. Oh, that's convenient. We Just one well placed kick. With respect, he wishes to see the mercenary alone. What? I said the commander I wishes. Heard what you said. I just don't understand why. Uh those were his orders, sir. Jealous, sonny boy? Very well. Hmm. Yeah, he's jealous. It appears I have other matters to attend to. That's right. You go deal with, oh, I don't know, corpse detail. Uh, possibly shanking a few live Athenians, turning them into corpses. Hmm, maybe, just maybe... He can go and swill out the hogs and the bilges. Don't worry, I wasn't planning to. You guys aren't going to like what comes next, are you? Oh, well, time to go meet up with Daddy. What do I even say? Uh, die, you bastard? This is for throwing me off that cliff? Well, let's find out. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of a flashback there. Hello, Daddy. So you are the champion who won us today. Tell me your name, hero, so that I may greet you as a true warrior. Oh, you have no idea. Here, Pater. It's been a long time. Impossible. I saw you fall. I yeah, about fall. that. You fucking threw me to my death. And did kind what of, was required of messed me up. As a Spartan. I've made my peace with that. You need to as well. You are my father. You are supposed to protect me. Is that you how Spartan family obligations worked? Forced my hand. I was protecting my sister because you wouldn't. The Oracle decreed that Cassandra had to die. Her word is absolute. You know that. You can't cower behind your sense of duty anymore. Enough! I mean, I'm, only the entirety of Megaris has heard this argument. I can't change the past, Alexios. I will live and die a Spartan. Hmm. There's a large reward for the mercenary who can collect the wolf's head. Is that why you're here? Well... Hmm... You know what? Daddy did have some conflicts about this, so... Let's give him a pass for the moment. Can always shank him later. You've avoided the pass long enough! Now you will answer to me! There is no honor in vengeance. You must face the ghost of your past, Pater. And that is a fate worse than death. Starting with the one in front of you, of course. I have failed in my duty. I failed to protect you. To protect both of you. I loved you and your sister as if you were truly my own. But you are never mine. Wait, what? What do you mean? That is a question you should ask your mother. 
Right. Do you know where she is? Because I don't have any leads. Find your mother. Find her. Whatever Mayne is, she knows far more than I do. Oh, uh, right. Where will you go? To find my honor. Okay, well that went better than expected. Of course I do... Where are the do... in the grass, Alexios? Of course, I do know have, now have to explain to my employer why, you know, he isn't dead. So that could get tricky. I need to get out of here. I should head back to Varnavas. Yeah. Luckily, all the Spartans appear to have... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice sword. <laughs> Just how good is this sword? Legendary. 8% damage on Athenian soldiers. Hmm. And 20% damage with the Sparta kick. Right, we're having that, I think. Uh, and it's got an eagle hilt. That's even more appropriate. Perfect. So, what else have I got? Some basic armor. That's not really an upgrade. Gloves. Yes, you can upgrade gear. It costs a bundle, I'll tell you that much. Especially you need to upgrade several levels at once. And I think we've just about covered everything else. Right. Time to get back to... Hmm. Focus. I suppose I do, in fact, need to focus, but that's besides the point. Um, okay, right. Phobos! I summon thee, O teleporting horse! Get over it. Yeah. So much that come auto on, on. mount on sprint option. Right, excuse me. Alright, options. I can either pack up here. Or I can go check the jobs board. Hmm. Well, let's have a quick look at the jobs board. I don't think there's going to be much of interest. Probably just the usual run of contracts. Bounty on Spartans. I wish you hadn't done that. Something has gone wrong with my prophecy. Need help retrieving sunken supplies. Okay, that's kind of interesting. And out for blood. Contract. Athenian sh ships. Eh, we'll pass on the bounties. I suspect that would make a lot of people uh, very, very unhappy with me. However, this one to find the... Uh, well, find whatever went to the bottom of the sea. That looks interesting. Need help retrieving cargo. Ah! Hello, hello. Right. I saw the message you left on the board. What's happening? There was a transport ship due to arrive in port. The military consulted me for a good omen before it left. It should have been safe. But it was. So what happened to the ship? Well, I heard it was sunk by a captain who looked a lot like you. Uh... I'm sure you had your reasons, but the infantry needs the supplies that are deep in shark infested waters. Right. So you want the supplies retrieved? And you want me to retrieve it? No. Hunting the beasts down is the only answer. Oh, right. I'm okay. Sure you get all of them. Okay, fine. It won't be easy, but I'll take care of it. You'll be doing divine work. No, I'll, I'll be, be doing paid work. Of. And I fully expect you to pay up for this. I am not getting to a fight with sharks if there is not some serious money involved. Where is the waypoint anyway? Um, you, 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 you wish you hadn't done that. There we go. Um, hmm. Okay. Kill the sharks. Right, well, next stop is, I think, Varnavas. Ah, yeah. That looks ominous. Well, first things first, talk to Varnavas. So, did you kill your father? Step nope. Father. I suppose the gods won't judge you too harshly for a step patricide. Man, I Nicolaus didn't kill him either. Me, trained me. He was my father, even if he did try to kill me. Is that better or worse? No matter. Yours isn't the only complicated family in the world. Yeah, thank you for your concern. Thanks. I'm glad to have you around, Varnavas. I'm happy to be here. Would anything else help? Stiff drink? Finding my mother. She's alive, Varnavas. At least, Nikolaus thought so. Some good news, praise Ida. What's your plan? What course should I set, Captain? Focus. For now, we go to Focus. Elpinor said he'd meet me there. He owes me money. 
and an explanation. I, Alexios. And let's seek the wisdom of the Pythia while we're there. If anyone has answers for you, it's the Oracle of Delphi. Hmm. Well, we'll consider it. I mean, frankly, she's probably a menace. It was her advice that kind of got Cassandra chucked off the cliff in the first place. But hey, details. I'll think about it. Good. You know, kings and queens travel to Fokis to consult the Pythia. She can start wars or end them. They say that... Yes, right. I know. That's enough Oracle talk for now. Hmm. Back to business. You know where to meet Elpinor, I suppose? His home is in Pilgrim's Landing. But Nikolaus's last words to me were a warning of snakes in the grass. Sounds like you should make extra preparations. Elpinor is the one who should prepare. Meet me at Apollo's temple in Delphi when you're done dealing with the snakes. Okay, sounds like Elpinor is a, a lot of adherent of the first rule of assassination. Kill the assassins. Alright, also in-game credits. Yay! Might be enough to buy a good, of course. Just enough to tempt you into coughing up some more cash. Now, where are these sharks? Because that's more important. So, we also need to consult a ghost. I wish you hadn't done that. Set that quest to tracked and active. Kill the sharks. Okay, also undock the boat. Ready to depart! Ready when you are, Commander! Right. Okay, uh, sharks. 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 Um, my quest log is kind of silent on the subject of sharks. Ah, sharks. All stop. Right, this might be the most ridiculously stupid thing I've ever done. Come on, shark. I don't know whether I have to kill you in particular or if it's just sharks in general. Either way, we're going to find out. This might be the most idiotic thing I've done in some considerable time. Get back here. And no, before you ask, uh, I cannot shoot a bow underwater. Actually, you know what? This is too much like hard work. Let's just get to the... Uh, Let's just get to Pilgrim's Landing. Uh, Forkies for a game of mercenaries. Alright, welcome to Forkies, home of the Oracle of Delphi, and also at least one rat. And I should probably apologise for insulting any actual Rodentiae. I'm sure they are extremely useful and constructive in beings. Insects? They're not insects, they're mammals, I think. Yes, definitely mammals. Anyhow, dock the ship. Ready the ship for docking. And here we are. Oh. Place doesn't look like much, but let's see. We have Elpino's house about 300 meters that way. Sacred wars. I wonder if she ever came here. Eh, you never know. What's on the jobs board? A dangerous path, Drachme. Why not? Bounty on the bandits. Hmm, okay, that'll work. Uh, fortress fallout. Okay. Cleanse the Greek world of these so called leaders. Out for blood of the contract. Um, uh, no. And raider ships just kill pirates. Well, we'll leave those for a while. Also, there's a quest marker over here that looked interesting. Yeah, more. Ah, the Ionos Hangout. Ionos? Iota appears to be rendered more as E in the uh, Greek. In, well, what's passing for Romanized, Anglicized Greek? Well, whichever. Anyhow. Fuck them. Fuck them all. Gods, oracles, especially pipe sailors. Definitely pirates. Uh, any particular reason why you wish to engage in sexual relations with all of these people? Zeus wasn't unhappy on the point. What's your problem? What don't I have fucking problems with? The Oracle for one, the sea for another, and don't get me started on my crew. I have a feeling that a she might get started anyway. Had business. 
and my business is none of your fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. If anything, I need the gods. Well, or deal with it yourself. If you want something done, you'll have to do it yourself. <laughs> You're right there. Can't trust the gods or their servants. So, who are you? Captain Yellon of the Shark's Tooth. Shark Tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship, not a boat. Oops. Uh, okay, well... It was just a question. I'm here to help. Oh, it's not your fault. After my business with the Oracle, I came to meet my ship and crew. That was a day ago, and they're nowhere to be found. Oh, they probably just toddled off and left you. Wouldn't be the first time a bit of mutiny's happened in absentia. So where's the shark's tooth? I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew, would I? Okay. No, you'd probably be Let dead. Phrase. Where was the crew meant to be? Well, um, I sent my girl Yiki off. Pilgrims get stuck in the shallows around here, and uh, we sort of help out. Oh. For a fee, of course. Yeah, best hand I ever had, and more. Look, mm. find my ship and my Yiki, will you? I'll pay. Okay, I'll, I'll find, find them. what happened and bring them back. Describe Yiki. She's beautiful, she is. Kisses like summer. Yeah. The first time I saw her, I wanted to eat her all up. Not helpful? Okay, okay. She's raven-haired and has a precious band on her arm that I gave her. Always wears it. Until she got robbed and murdered. I'm, I'm just taking a guess here. Do you know where they could have gone? The southeastern shore is pretty rich pickings. Nice cove there to trap lost, wealthy pilgrims. And then assist what if I fucking them. Am? I'm the pirate that's paying you. Anyway, I'm not a pirate all the time. It's more of a hobby. A hobby? Ah. You sure the crew didn't mutiny and run off on you? Not with my hiki at the helm. Plus, they never got the cut from our last trip. They wouldn't leave without getting paid. Good to know they've got their priorities straight, right. I'll find them and return as soon as I can. Okay. Meanwhile, we uh, have our uh, meeting with Alpina. At least the pirate's an honest snake. Alpina, on the other hand, well. Let's just see how these things go. I'm not anticipating a peaceful outcome here at all in the slightest. In all honesty, I'm anticipating poison, drugs, ambush, bodyguards, ambush by bodyguards after being poisoned and possibly drugged by wine, or maybe just an ambush by poisoned bodyguards who have been drugged with what? Wait, no, that one doesn't make any sense. Elpina, where are you? There you are, good. How was Miraris? That answer your question? The wolf. Is dead. For a given Excellent. value of dead. The full amount is promised. Thank you. Now, um, let's level, you shall we? You expected me to haggle? Come now, Alexios. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. But he wasn't your real father, was he? Okay, and how the hell did you know that? How did you know that Nikolaus was my stepfather? I love theater. All of the arts, really. A great general throws his own children off a cliff on the say-so of the Oracle. It is a tragedy for the ages. You hmm. think my life is entertainment? Oh, no, my friend. It is art. I know, I know. It's a lot to take in all at once. Come. Tell me, Mistyos. Did you learn anything worthwhile in your dealings with the wolf? Nothing I'm not telling. Nothing I'm going to tell you, at least. I'm done talking. I should kill you where you stand. Timber, timber. Ah, and they said you'd be different. But blood is blood, I suppose. They? What blood? You really are more brawn than brains, aren't you? A shame. I could have used you for more of my... Errands. Okay, we're Not heading for like ambush. You think you can play with me? I'll cut out your tongue. No, no, I so don't think he will. Ah, you be the local elite moves then. Stay. 
Ah, damn it. Too slow on the parry. Come on, then. That's more like it. And then we'll take your shield away from you. Wait, that didn't work. That's uh, unexpected. Fine, we'll just do this the old-fashioned way, then. Harry, smack, dodge. Now, don't mind, we're not having the shield again. Huh, interesting. Fine, well, let's see if it helps you against being shot in the head. Apparently it ha does when your buddy uh, dives in front of you and takes the arrow. Okay, away you go. Duck. And duck. And parry. Second guy will move in at this point. Break away from... No, he didn't, right? Break away from the attack. Interesting. He broke that as well. Fine. Smack, smack, smack. Break, break, break. There we go. Got him. Roll away again. Okay, you're not immune to that, are you? Right. Duck. And that's that does the job. Alright, now let's Okay. Block and get him out of the way. Yeah, Daddy's you know, sword is still pretty like good. I should investigate his house. Also Are you dead or not? Uh, he's still tweet uh, he's not getting up anytime soon. Right, let's have a look at this. Alpino so. is looking for a woman. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. Mummy, who else? Right, the Asclepius Sanctuary. Asclepius was a healer. Okay, that's got some potential then. And let's see. This is a ship manifest. Alpino is selling weapons to both Athens and Sparta. He wants this war to go on forever. Eh, nothing like a bit of good old-fashioned war profiteering. And... Hmm. A letter to Alpinor. Oh, Phoebe. You led him right to me. I have met some treacherous people. None of them compare to Alpinor. I'm going to look under every rock, in every shadow, until I find and kill this vile serpent. Right. In the meantime, however, there is one small detail I need to take care of. Okay, now he's definitely dead. What? What, the beating I gave him? That was probably a mercy. Okay. Oh, I've got Daddy's helmet. I can't help but think I should probably shouldn't be wearing this anywhere near a Spartan, because the inevitable question will be, so just how did you come by the helmet of our most famous general? Hmm. Well, he kind of gave it to me. Honest. Totally honest. <clears throat> Completely and utterly honest. Why are you looking at me like that and why have you drawn your weapons? Okay, next job. So, there is a small matter of tracking down Elpina, who is, well, still in Fukis somewhere. And there's also consulting a ghost. Go speak to the Oracle of Delphi. Well, I suppose that's as good a place to start as any, so... Looks like we're heading off to Delphi. Yeah. The Oracle, of course, historical thing. There's been some suggestions that they simply either kept their prophecies deliberately vague that they could mean anything, or that because they had so many visitors and guests and gossip and rumours, that they had some of the most connected and clued up people in the Greek world. Although... As I said, they went above a little bit of a double speak in their prophecies at times. There was one, I think it was Greek king, who basically went to the Oracle of Delphi and said, What will happen in my next battle? And was told, In the battle, a great empire will be destroyed. And so, fortified by the tale, he marched straight off to war, got completely wiped out, and his empire was taken out from under him. Well, a great empire was destroyed, they uh, just neglected to specify which empire. So hey, win-win on that one for the Oracle. 
and uh, lose lose for just about everyone else. Okay, welcome to the core of Delphi. Hmm. Looks like a pleasant enough place. If you go for go. backwards farming village. Right, however, the oracle should be over here. So, trundle on up. Well, as I said, best not to annoy the local Spartans. Luckily, none of them seem too interested in the helmet. Maybe they just think it's a cosplay thing. I don't know. Okay, I'm not even asking. Hmm, yes. Against a bunch of unarmed civilians. Truly the Spartan way. Actually, it was. Um, one of the things Spartan teenagers did, or rather the Spartaploid teenagers did, was that they formed little murder bands, and every time some of the Elots, the uh, serf class, I don't think they were quite slaves. Hmm, possibly, possibly not. But um, they uh, kind of murdered any of the elements that were getting a bit too uppity, or were considered to be getting a bit too uppity. The gods themselves watch over this land. This place is dripping in money. Alright. Well, what do you expect? It's the Oracle of Delphi. Of course the place is dripping in money. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this constitutes sacrilege, but who cares? Going up. And here we are. Nice and convenient. Just hope nobody uh, cares too much about the pseudo-Spartan that's uh, balanced on top of the Temple of Apollo, likely damaging the priceless sculpture and marble work, and has an eagle flying overhead, and Lord knows what that eagle is doing to the roof tiles. Oh, they have an amphitheatre here as well. Very nice. Luckily, I have fast travel, and oh, Ikoros has more perception. Even better. Now, um, has anyone got a convenient haystack? No? Well, that'll have to do. Ow. Okay, speaking of uh, stuff, can I upgrade my Leap of Faith yet? I need to synchronize 22 more viewpoints to get that done, and I need level 20 for the next upgrade of Leap of Faith. Hmm. Mutter, mutter, curse, etc. Okay, progress further in the story. Oh, could create fire and poison arrows. Those would be useful. Um. Upgrade the Spear of Leonidas. Critical Assassination. Ha. Huh. 200% damage versus 130% damage. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go for... Yes. Let's go for another range skill, I think. So we'll start with... Hmm. Yeah, we'll have fire arrows, I think. Yank! Oh, explosive arrows. <laughs> oh, those could be too much fun. Also, I need to quickly make sure I have some ammo loaded. Um, so, check the inventory. Check the quiver. Poison and... Okay. I am the god of hellfire. That may only slightly get me into trouble with the actual god of hellfire. Huddies, Huddies might take some objections there. All right. Alexios, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpino? Who's this guy? Just a simple pilgrim. Eroditus? <laughs> oh, he's not a simple pilgrim at all. Meet the father of history, make a occasion the father of lies. That's the oracle for you. Mm-hmm. You weren't lying. It really is the spear of Leonidas. What? Uh I may have mentioned you. About a dozen times? <sighs> we should try to be a little more discreet. I would appreciate you showing a bit more secrecy. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legend. Oi, get your like eyes the, off the spear. Uh, How did 
Uh, I found it at the bottom of a pit of corpses. Do you really want to know? You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. Introductions then? My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. <laughs> That much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. Pericles? We intend to finally end this war. Yeah, good luck with that. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. Someone trying or to stab you is personal. Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so what did the Oracle tell you? You don't seem convinced that Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, Spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand the word of it, but yeah. that's why she isn't there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. He may not be wrong. So, why so much security? Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. Cool. So we're on for strangulation, tipping molten gold down people's throats, possibly blunt weaponry, uh, inconvenient falls, poisoning, um, choking. Wait, I covered that with strangulation, didn't I? I can think of lots of ways to kill someone without uh, spilling blood. Although I don't know where we're going to get a red hot poker in a couple of mattresses, but that one, well, the only recorded use of that is in Scotland around about the 14th century AD. So no one's going to cook that one up for another, oh, what, 1800 years, give or take? Ugh. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? Probably. These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Funny that. Apollo controls this. Of <laughs> yeah. Uh... Uh, you have to wonder, though, how many of the Theori make it back home. But hey, shedding blood is forbidden in Delphi. Of course, once you cross the city limits, well, it's a long way home and a lot can happen on the roads. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this line, I'll be an old man by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest! <laughs> Try the small army of goons, right. Varnavas. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is he not every bit as great as I said? Uh, this... This could be about to go horribly wrong. Priesty, hi. Don't you know who I am? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. Right. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? I'm guessing the answer to that was no. Mm hmm. It was no. Oh, stacked up with hallucinogens, going for the theatrics, I see. 
a little bit of tranced out muttering. Oh, and she's got minders. What a surprise. The light of Apollo. The light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal. For you have but one. Speak, truth seeker. Nice touch, rolling your eyes into the back of your head. Yeah, you have to give them marks for theatrics. So, where's Mummy? I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you, from the visions, the child on the mountain. How could Wait, you know what? that? Wait, You need to leave, now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Probably. Oh, I do. I saw you feign ignorance in Kausos. You let an unknown sickness govern your decision. Innocence died thanks to you. And more... No one can hide from the light. More would have died Please. if I hadn't. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken. The prophecy is yours. You never answered my question. The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers. Turns out, I'm leaving. Interesting that the guard wanted her to shut up the moment that uh, we mentioned the Oracle. You don't look happy with your prophecy. Well, it wasn't a prophecy per se. Who I was. She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? Well, it's more that she knew I about the whole business with the plagued mountain. village. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you, she knew who I was, what I'd done. Tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? Well, I suppose we could, uh... Well, let's trust Erodotus. I mean, he's either a massive traitor, in which case he already knows about the cult of Cosmos, or he's an ally, in which case telling him is going to be beneficial. She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? Yep, apparently it does. Uh, could you be less I obvious about it? A cult unlike any other coming to their feet. But I paid them no mind. The Pythia seemed afraid of them. Guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... Then they're running Greece from the shadows. This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. Oopsie. We need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. Or a lot of stabby. Okay, well, where, where can you I find know her? more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. Okay, so... Where would she where be? Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. You don't say. Well, that's going to be our first job for the next episode. Find the Oracle and get some private time. Some more detail. Unchaperoned. Unsupervised. Probably because we killed all the chaperones and the supervisors. So, I'll let's grab this quest. And I will get answers. Alexios, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. That's almost as cryptic as the Oracle. Right, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, farewell. <laughs>